James chapter 4 in the Passion Translation Living close to God What is the cause of your conflicts and quarrels with each other? Doesn't the battle begin inside of you as you fight to have your own way and fulfill your own desires? You jealously want what others have, so you begin to see yourself as better than others. You scheme with envy and harm others to selfishly obtain what you crave. That's why you quarrel and fight. And all the time you don't obtain what you want because you won't ask God for it. And if you ask, you won't receive it, for you're asking with corrupt motives, seeking only to fulfill your own selfish desires. You have become spiritual adulterers who are having an affair, an unholy relationship with the world. Don't you know that flirting with the world's values places you at odds with God? Whoever chooses to be the world's friend makes himself God's enemy. Does the scripture mean nothing to you that says, The spirit that God breathed into our hearts is a jealous lover who intensely desires to have more and more of us. But he continues to pour out more and more grace upon us. For it says, God resists you when you are proud, but continually pours out grace when you are humble. So then, surrender to God, Stand up to the devil and resist him, and he will flee in agony. Move your heart closer and closer to God, and he will come even closer to you. But make sure you cleanse your life, you sinners, and keep your heart pure and stop doubting. Feel the pain of your sin. Be sorrowful and weep. Let your joking around be turned into mourning, and your joy into deep humiliation. Be willing to be made low before the Lord, and He will exalt you. Dear friends, as part of God's family, never speak against another family member, for when you slander a brother or sister, you violate God's law of love. And your duty is not to make yourself a judge of the law of love by saying that it doesn't apply to you, but your duty is to obey it. There is only one true lawgiver and judge, the one who has the power to save and destroy. So who do you think you are to judge your neighbor? Listen, those of you who are boasting, Today or tomorrow, we'll go to another city and spend some time and go into business and make heaps of profit. But you don't have a clue what tomorrow may bring. For your fleeting life is but a warm breath of air that is visible in the cold only for a moment and then vanishes. Instead, you should say, Our tomorrows are in the Lord's hands, and if He is willing, we will live life to its fullest and do this or that. But here you are, boasting in your ignorance, for to be presumptuous about what you'll do tomorrow is evil. So if you know of an opportunity to do the right thing today, yet you refrain from doing it, you're guilty of sin. <laughs>